Hey guys, Sean Bean. Today we are playing around with Mirin, the Dark String Master. Mirin in Japanese is a essential sweet condiment. So this is the sweetest string master I've ever seen. Her skill three curse music will place a song that increase the attack speed of all allies, excluding yourself. So that's good because you want her to play the song as long as possible for two turns. No attack bar increase. Increase the damage of all allies and enemies by 25% until the next turn starts. This simply means that you have AoE branding on everybody until her next turn starts. She has a 24% speed lead for guild content. Speed leaders are always amazing. Her skill 2 is the AoE stun, so that's pretty good. If you can't kill the enemy, you have a chance to stun them slow them down until your next damage dealer turn. This skill will work really well with Lucian, Kanarina, ignore defense single target unit like Odin, Kali, or even Molong, but we shall talk about that later. Why I wouldn't want to use her with Molong. Right now she's on Swift Fight, which I think will probably be the build for most Mirinae out there. Speed, whatever, whatever doesn't really matter. This man also have a Dova, who can boost Lucian and this thing is also on Surf Fight, Speed, Defense, HP. And we have a Lucian who is rocking a 100% crit rate, pretty decent attack and crit damage overall. So how much are we doing without a song, okay? Around 13.2 thousand. Alright, let's go. We're doing 16. We're doing 16,000 damage. Oh my god. That is almost an extra card in Lucian's skill. If you're not fighting the best of the best tanker in G3 guild battle, not many or uh, nobody is gonna survive a 16,000 card Lucian. And you don't have to worry about resistance with branding because there's no resistance. There's no will rune trying to avoid the damage it's just gonna die it's so good if this unit is in like a g3 player with 15k lucian they're gonna do like 18 19 000 damage and nobody's gonna oh shit nobody's gonna survive that it's nuts can you stun oh uh, we actually land a stun you will be much more confident bringing this kind of offense team into a much much tankier looking defense even hp type unit not a lot can have like forty-eight thousand hp the only problem is that you have to allow mirin to buff first if you're using a fat lucian team so you're forced to have two unit on fast swift rune if you're using like a bastet normal comm then bastet can move mirin can move and then lucian can take a turn so speed tuning in that kind of team is going to be a little bit easier Comparing to using a fat Lucian comm. So two swift set, but the result can be really, really good like this. Now we're going to push it to the limit to see what kind of crazy damage we can do. So this Lucian now has some nasty crit damage. This rune can be changed into crit rate so that he will have maximum crit rate with crit rate buff. Now we're going to put Mirin on triple fight runes. We also have a triple fight Kabez and F. Okay, this is not very practical because we don't have any will rune, so we have to rely on six fight set as well. So it's not very practical, but I just want to see the maximum damage that this Lucian can do on this account. Okay, boom, boom, boom. We're doing eighteen point nine thousand on the lapis without attack lead. Can I get attack lead? Okay, super not practical team we might even get the branding going dude can we get the branding going somehow we're gonna try to cut the lucian with this oh we cut the lucian oh my god this is the most i didn't even thought about this when i tested out off recording this is the best oh shit come on man you gotta hit for twenty thousand, please And ignore defense <laughs> 24,000 oh my god illusion hitting for 24,000 
You can also try similar team with Katarina and Kabez enough because you need the invincibility buff. This is also a more practical team that you can use with Mirin. Of course, you want like wheel runes on Katarina, wheel runes on Kyobas and F. So a bit less damage than this, but it's still pretty possible. Let's go. <laughs> 60, almost 69,000 damage. That is nuts. The thing about Molong is that he can take damage while he do the Reckless Assault. Which means if we are doing more damage while also receiving more damage, Molong can just technically die. Watch. Boom. <laughs> Yo, Molong, where you at, bro? Yo, Molong? Dude, he just, he, he, he went away. <laughs> but let's say you want to snipe somebody with branding and Molong. You can also do it and you won't die because the enemy don't have a lot of HP. Um, let's try to kill that monkey, for example. So this thing will ignore all the enemy stats and just instantly kill with Mirin. And that's pretty cool. So there are other branding choices for you, not necessarily be a uh, fancy LDNAT5, but you can just one-shot anything from 100 to 0. And that's kind of nuts too. That is kind of nuts too. Let's say you run a normal speed slot to Lucian like this, like a average speed slot to Lucian. If you run something like this, then the pressure for running a good fast Mirren will be less. And you can run a triple five rune Mirren and run a typical fast Lucian and a booster. You can run Bastet or Megan. And the speed buff will allow your Lucian to take a turn a bit easier if you're not having some insane runes. So let's take turn one and the speed lead help with Bastet or Megan a hell lot. So you can do the thing and the, the turn that Lucian take will be a much easier turn. And now let's try to kill. So a typical fat, <laughs> dude, like a typical fast Lucian can also do a damage that an average low key fat Lucian can do. And that is, this is a much easier team to run. You don't have to run like a super fast Konamiya because most of you guys out there will not have a Dover, right? So you have to run like super fast Konamiya, super fast Mirren. Like this girl can also work with your Copper Bulldozer. Let's say if you want to snipe some defense real, real bad, then you can use your Copper with it. This is without a song, okay? Without a song, we are doing 53,000. With the song, we are doing so much more. With the song, we are doing 68,000. Like you well, you go from 53 to 68. You go from almost one-shotting a lot of different tank to one-shotting every single tank in the game. This girl will also work really well with Odin because he she can provide one extra buff. So Odin can get five stack much easier. And she provides extra damage for Odin to just one shot anything <laughs> dude we might see more mirin bastet and odin defense instead of kamun because hey <laughs> you never know you never know and she can aoe stun after odin one shot something look at that that is just nuts okay but hey i heard you don't like ignore defense i got you fam we can also use her in cleave and what is better for your Zyros or Pungbaek than branding? Am I right? The AoE damage will be half the damage of the single target damage. If you kill the single target, then your AoE damage will be increased by 30%. So 30% of 50% is like 60-ish. But if you have Mirren, it will become like 80%-ish splash damage. Let's just say hello to the Chow, for example. So we're gonna do, boom, 64,000. The splash will be 52,000. And 52 is around 81% of 64. So that is pretty nuts. But hey, that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This Mirene belongs to Glitter Bomb. Big shout out to him. Amazing guy. Thank you so much for letting me play with the unit. You have an awesome account, man. And I can't wait to test more units on this account. It's going to be amazing. And this unit was super amazing. I love her so much. It's crazy. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.